All right, welcome back to the Complete Web Dev Series where I'm gonna take you from a beginner to a job-ready developer. In this chapter, we are building a, a content management system using object-oriented programming. Uh, the main goal and purpose of this is to really solidify our understanding of object-oriented programming. Um, and we're gonna get a really good understanding of that while building a content management system. So the main goal is not build the best content management system uh, on the planet, um, but to use that as an excuse to learn some really good skills and so uh, let's talk a little bit about what we're gonna do in this video in this video we're gonna talk about pretty URLs and we're gonna set up our project uh, so that we can do that so I'm gonna switch over to my screen here and just go ahead and make sure you have exam up and running and um, let's talk a little bit about the goal so I'm gonna go ahead and go to localhost forward oops got to spell that correctly localhost forward slash cms and i'll hit enter and if you can see now we just have um since we don't have an index page it's actually showing us a listing of our files here and so let's go ahead and take care of that um in the root of our project here let's go ahead and create a file and let's create an index.php and let's also create a contact uh you know what let's create an article um article.php and inside the index.php here let's just um let's just create an h2 and we're gonna we're just gonna put some text here of index and in our article let's do another h2 and we'll put uh just some text of article there we'll save both of those files and if we refresh now, uh, you can see that it is loading the index.php. Now, what this is really doing is loading index.php. So you can see it doesn't change if I type the full path in there. To go to the other um, file, I would need to load the article.php. And now you can see that it's loading the other file. But let's pretend that we built this system out and we want to show a specific article on this page. Well, what we normally have to do is we would put this article.php and then a lot of times we do a question mark and we put some get parameters here. We might put an ID equals to here and uh, we would use this get parameter uh, and any other, we might even do more. We would do like um, if we were doing pagination, it could do page uh, equal, you know, I don't know. It doesn't make sense with an ID, but, um, you know, just say we did have, we could do ID equals two and page equals two, something like that. Uh, and you could string together some get parameters here and then use those in the article.php to pull the right article from the database um, but this is kind of messy it doesn't look great it's really hard for people to remember and um, uh, I'd rather structure this a little bit differently and and doing this the way we're going to do it in this project um, allows us to clean up these URLs and have a much prettier interface and so what I'd like to be able to do instead of having to type article.php I'd rather just type article and then do a forward slash two okay or maybe um details forward slash two here where this article uh part of the url is going to be um the controller that we're trying to load and then the details part will be a method within that controller because the controller is actually going to be an object and then we're going to have these actions or methods within that that we're going to call and then any parameters that we want to call into that could go afterwards in the url so this right here this two could be the id notice we don't have any dot phps or dot html uh, and the way that we're going to accomplish this is um we are going to have every route that comes into our website they're all going to go to the index.php and then we're going to we're going to have functionality in the index.php in order to route uh, or to display what we want to display on the screen and we're going to do that with an mvc layout um, and this is called a pretty url and notice this is a lot prettier and more human readable um, this part of the url here would likely be um, this would be replaced with the domain of the website. So you wouldn't have the localhost forward slash CMS forward slash. It would be like freeskills.com forward slash article forward slash details forward slash 
two. Um, and so that's that's the structure that we're going to use here. All right, so to get this to work, we're going to do a little bit of, this, of server configuration. And instead of actually having you guys go in and do um, work inside the actual co configuration files, we can actually put files inside of our um, project here that will configure the server for our needs. Um, and the way that we do that, um, if you're using Examp, the A in Examp is for Apache. Now Apache is a server technology that we're using. The other one that we could be using with PHP is Nginx, um, or you don't have to be using it with PHP, but, but the other one we could be using is, in, uh, is Apache or Nginx. We're gonna be using Apache. So Apache allows us to add a file right here called an htaccess file. So let's go ahead and add that real quick. So this will be a .htaccess like this. Now, but by default, um, this is going to work, but if you were setting this up on a, uh, a live server, you may have to enable uh, this file to work through your server, and you'd have to look that up. But through Xamp, if you've done the install like we're going to, this, this .htaccess is going to just work. So it has to be named like this. Um, it is a dot first and then just an HT access. The dot tells it it's a hidden file uh, and then you want HT access. All right, so if I just refresh now and go back here, nothing's really gonna change except for if I refresh here, um, we're back to the article.php and uh, what we want to have happen if we configure this correctly is no matter what we put in here it's always going to load the index uh, unless it's a file that actually exists so let's go ahead and write that so this ht access uh, file is going to be pretty simple, but uh, I don't really expect you guys to really understand this um, because honestly, I don't understand it that much. I just look it up when I need to because this is not something that I do all the time, but I can explain this line by line as we go. So this options indexes, what this is going to allow us to do is stop people from, you know, when we first loaded this before we had in an index.php file, it showed our directory structure, which could be bad because we're giving people information about the way that our server is structured. So this option indexes is not gonna allow people to uh, just go to a directory and see what all is in there. So that's just a little bit of a security measure. The other thing we need to do is we need to turn the rewrite engine on. So rewrite engine and then we're gonna just put a space and then a capital O on. And what this is gonna allow us to do is rewrite um, this structure here to send it to another uh, file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a couple rewrite conditions. So just type rewrite C-O-N-D, the C is capital there. And the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna do a percent sign and then some curly brackets. And inside here, we're gonna do um, a request, and this is all uppercase, request underscore file name. Now this is um, basically, a, a, this is a constant that's set, and the request file name is the file name that we're requesting. So we're gonna say, hey, if what they're requesting is not a directory, and that needs to be a lowercase d. So the rewrite condition is gonna be like, hey, if it's not a directory, and then we'll do one more where we say rewrite condition, um, and then this one is if it's not a request, if the request file name is not a file, uh, if, if it's not a file or a directory that, that exists on our server, then we want all of the requests to go through the index.php. Otherwise, uh, if they navigate directly to it, it'll go to that file. That's what this is gonna do. So then what we wanna do is we need to tell it now our rule. So rewrite rule. And then the way that this works is we're gonna use an upper carrot, a chevron there. Um, what is that thing called? I don't know, it's above the uh, six. I can't remember, it's a carrot or something like that. And then um, it's gonna use a little bit of something called regular expressions. And this is, this is saying, hey, the beginning of the file name, so take the beginning of this string here, if it, and the dot plus is like, it could be any characters, okay? So it's one plus characters there. And it's gonna put that in um, the dollar sign here. It's gonna take the rest of what's after that and put that in a, um, a variable. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to reroute that to index.php forward slash, and then we're going to put the dollar sign one here. And what that's going to do is take whatever's left over after this request and put it on the end of this. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. And then we will put uh, in square brackets here, we'll put an L here. Um, I'm not 100% sure what this directive is doing. I think it means um, it's the last rewrite rule or something like that. But regardless, this is the structure that we need to have right here in our HT access. So let's go back now and test this. If I refresh now, um, well, I'm, I'm actually going to article.php and that's the reason that it's still working, I think. But if I just go to article, you can see now that that goes to the index file. So that's what I want. I want, even if I type index here, it goes to the index file. And if I type um, something that doesn't exist yet, so I'll, I'll literally type something that doesn't, oh, I can't do that, exist, and hit enter. And you can see that because this file doesn't exist, because this isn't a file, and it's not a um, directory, it's gonna route it to the index page. So what's really happening right here is because this doesn't exist on our server, it's going to index.php. Um, so it's all the same. But I can actually do I here, it doesn't matter. Now our entire thing, our entire request is gonna be sent to the index.php. And that's what we want because we're gonna actually use that index.php um, as the entry point for our entire app. So everything that comes to our app is actually gonna go through this index.php file. So it's a little bit different than the way that we built the procedural PHP and we'll explain more about why as we go. But if you get to this point to where you can type anything in here to where it doesn't exist, um, you can type uh, something like hello and it still routes you to the index uh, right here then we are in good shape and I will see you in the next video and we'll continue on and take these pretty URLs and start to make it do something all right I will see you guys in the next video peace out